It's been quite a bit since I've talked about Marvel Legends Iron Man. I love Marvel Legends Iron Man, even though I've cut out a lot of Marvel Legends out of my collection. I'm still going for a lot of the Iron Man ones. I still really enjoy collecting them, and I still think they're really fun, cool figures. And seeing the new Extremist Iron Man, I, I had to get it. It looks very nice. I really like it. I haven't been in the mood to talk about every single new Iron Man release. I haven't done videos on all of them. I probably won't. But I really wanted to do this old versus new, because I really like the new one. But the original one was actually one of my favorite early Hasbro Iron Mans. Something about this return of Marvel Legends, Extremist Iron Man, is just so satisfying to me and how it looks. And uh, it's pretty much it. But <laughs> the new one is a very fun action figure and also looks great. But there's just a couple things that I actually think the old one did better. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm not going to say the new one is not as good because... I mean, just look at them. You know, you can you can already tell where this is going. One toy is, what, this came in around 2012, I think? I think this was around 2012, and this is, it's about 10 year difference between these two figures, which is crazy. And you can see right away, there's quite the size difference. Hasbro Marvel Legends have slowly gone up in scale over the years. It's kind of interesting seeing how they've slowly creeped up in scale but it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing that that scale just creep up and up. But yeah, they're really cool figures. I really like them both. But, you know, if, if you're watching this video to determine which one to buy, just get the new one. Just get the new one. <laughs> this, this video isn't really trying to determine which one should you get. Because clearly the old one is not as good as the new one. But it's just a fun retrospect, seeing where Hasbro Marvel Legends have gone from 2012-ish to 2023. Ten-year difference. It's quite a long time. So let's get into it, talking about the accessories first. So the accessories with this one... Anyways, uh, then we have the accessories with this one, and it's pretty typical. Uh, the joke is he comes with nothing. He might have come with one of those like weird display bases that they did for Marvel Legends back then, but he, he who cares? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even care. I doubt you do, you do either. So yeah, he's pretty typical Iron Man. He's got Fist, and he's got Repulsor, and then he's got Fist, and he's got Repulsor. Whoa, isn't that wild? It's very appreciated, though. It really is. I really have issues with Iron Mans that don't come with alternate hands, because it's kind of like, oh man, what if I wanted this pose or this pose? Because he really just needs these hands. That's it. And, of course, because he's Iron Man nowadays, he needs the Repulsor effects. And I really appreciate these. They're the newer style that are a little smaller, not as, you know, not as big and flamboyant. They still are two-piece, though, if you want to take that little blast burst off the bottom, you can. But, yeah, nice little effects. They, they plug into the hands. It's it's uh, Iron Man blast effects, you know. Well, what can I say? And, of course, they plug into the feet, too, you know. Iron Man Blast Effects. <laughs> so that's what the new one comes with. Uh, he didn't come with a bath piece. Because oftentimes Iron Man, they're like, oh, a lot of people may just want to buy Iron Man and not build the bath. So we won't include it. And that someone is someone like me. So <laughs> I, I guess. Thank you, Hasbro. Even though I kind of don't mind having a bath piece so I can, like, sell it or trade it and, you know, get a little something extra out of it. But, yeah, you can see there's quite a difference. Number one, this didn't come with anything. No alternate hands. So he does have a repulsor hand, which, you know, does look pretty cool. And he has a fist. So, you know, he has one of each. But if, if you want him doing two repulsors, if you want him doing two fists, you can't. Uh, one thing I'm curious about... Oh, never mind. He has no peg holes on the bottom of his feet. So he probably didn't come with a display base because he literally can't use one. So I doubt he came with one. Uh, I don't know if he came with a Build-A-Figure piece either. Pff, not really relevant, but he might have. He might have. But the figure itself d didn't come with anything. It's just what you see is what you get. Uh, it's very pretty looking. Uh, the color is very nice on this old one. I think for me, I really love this bright, rich gold. And I like the metallic red. Because he's painted red. This is a red paint. It's not red plastic, it's red paint. You can see in certain spots, like right there on the leg, it's kind of not evenly coated. You can see some splotches here and there. It's not a totally even coat. But I feel like in areas that are more raised and detailed, like the torso... It looks more even. I don't think they painted the shoulder pads, though, interestingly. I don't think they have any, you know, glossy red paint. I do think the red paint really makes this one look gorgeous. It's very nice looking. It's just, you know, a figure from 10 years ago. <laughs> the head is uh, very cool looking, I think. 
I actually really like this helmet design, and it's very similar to the new one. I do think the new one did kind of change it up a little bit, though. You can see there's a lot of little similar details, like little notches and things here and there. The, the big stripe, big, like, dark recess right there around the jawline. But uh, this one has a golden chin, and this one doesn't. I kind of liked the red chin on the uh, on the old one. I don't know which one's more accurate. Maybe one's more particularly accurate to an artist compared to the other. Uh, but I kind of prefer kind of prefer the the red chin. But this is a more traditional Iron Man with the with the golden chin right there. Uh, so yeah, the the helmet looks nice and everything. If you want to head swap this guy, don't don't head swap this. Because this is my second copy of this Iron Man, because my first one, I tried to head swap, and his head neck broke off. It, it broke off. The neck snapped. So this is my second Iron Man. My first Iron Man is sitting in a drawer with his head detached in a baggie. Uh, <laughs> I'm holding on to it because I might want to like repaint it someday. This mold did see a couple repaints. It was repainted into the Stealth Iron Man, obviously, which is very gorgeous. I actually prefer it over this one. And then it was also repainted into Iron Patriot for the Iron Man 3 line. And that figure is amazing with how it looks, but again, we'll get into the articulation. But I wouldn't mind seeing this guy turned into Iron Patriot. I think that'd be really cool, and I'd probably prefer it even over this. But yeah, this, this Iron Man's nice looking. You know, it's cool. Uh, we'll go over the articulation on him after we go over the looks on the new one. So the new one here has a lot of nice looks to it. It's it's very proportionate. It really does look like a man in a suit, and I really do respect that. Uh, thankfully, because it is a newer Marvel Legend, every single ball is compatible with one another. One another. So you can put the heads on the, on the neck right there, and you can swap them between one another. <laughs> My tongue just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, you can swap them. You know, if you, if you want to swap the neck, you can. I'm not going to show, like, different head swaps in this video. I'm sure other people are like, here's this Iron Man with this head. Here's this Iron Man with this head. You, we're comparing these. I'm not I'm not going over heads with this. <laughs> but you can. So that's a good thing with this. Uh, I, like I said, proportionally, it's a lot better. Uh, the coloring, I really do like the gold. It's kind of a more muted gold. But this red, it's not like the swirly, twirly plastic that we really see a lot. It's still a nice dark red, which is what I prefer for Iron Man. I don't like bright reds, but you got to admit, the old one with that glossy red paint, the red looks better. I'm not going to say the figure looks better, but I will say the red looks better. Because uh, this red's not bad, but I'm sure if a customizer got a hold of this guy and, you know, did a nice red spray on him, he would look gorgeous. Uh, the, like I said, the proportions are nice. I really do like the sculpted detail. It's pretty similar to that one. Uh, he does have added little circles right here because he is pinless, which I really appreciate. I really do appreciate the pinlessness being. See, the little vents on the thighs are similar. Even the, the shape of the butt is similar. <laughs> the spine, the back armor, like, it's proportionally altered between them. But you can tell this is the same armor. Both of these toys are trying to replicate the same armor. So when it comes to looks and everything, I do have to give it to the new one. I I really do like how this old one looks. I'm not going to get rid of this because, you know, I collect Marvel Legends Iron Man. I'm not going to, you know, oh, I've got the new one. I don't need this anymore. No, I have them all on a shelf together. But this definitely, <laughs> I want to see it repainted. I want to see it repainted and then we'll talk. <laughs> but this one is very nice. So let's go over articulation on them. Let's kind of do it in the, like each joint is compared like side by side. So, moving the heads, you can see they can move up quite a bit. Uh, both can move up good. Uh, this one can move down good. This one can move down pretty good as well. And then, of course, they're both going to go side to side. Uh, this one does have a little bit of a tilt, which I like. Both of them do. But I feel like the old one probably has a little bit more tilt. Uh, and then, let's go over the torso. So, this one has like an upper torso joint. It doesn't really have a side to side, but it goes up and down, up and down pretty well, and it goes side to side. And then this one, it has pretty similar joint. It goes up and down pretty well, but actually the old one goes down better, which is kind of wild. Isn't that wild? I've I've seen some people cut up and modify the new one to have more of an ab crunch, but I feel like with Iron Man, especially with the ground pound pose, he needs that ab crunch a little bit, you know. So I think with the with the abs, it kind of goes to the old one. So, so far, uh, with the abs and the head, 
I think the old one's ever so slightly better. But let's start talking about the arms. So he has shoulder pads that are separate but attached to the arms, and these can be removed. So if you're looking for this guy secondhand, make sure he's got his shoulder pads, because oftentimes you'll find figures like this, a lot of these old Iron Mans, the shoulders are just kind of clipped on like that. You're not going to find the armor attached still. So the shoulders move up. Uh, they move forward. Uh, elbow, bicep, uh, pretty, pretty typical. <laughs> but this one... Uh, the shoulder pad is connected to the arm like this. So the up is a pretty good range. You know, that obviously bicep swivel is not really going to be much different. But the elbow, number one, it's pinless, so I really enjoy that. But I do feel like the elbow is probably better on the new one. I feel like it's probably better just a little bit. Just a little bit, not a ton. Probably just a little bit. And then the hands, uh, they hinge they swivel. I mean, it's it, all this time, you know, it's still Marvel Legends, right? At the end of the day, Marvel Legends is Marvel Legends, and Marvel Legends has been Marvel Legends for 20 years, <laughs> you know? So a lot of the articulation points are nearly identical. But this is where we're going to start seeing some differences after all this time. So you can move the discs out of the way on both of them, which is much appreciated. But the hips on this one... Oh, man. So they can move out pretty well, which is nice. But then wait for this. Yep. That's all the forward you get. Not even 90 degrees. It doesn't have a drop down or anything. That wasn't really a thing back then. That is all you get. And this alone borderline cripples this figure. This is the worst piece of articulation on him by far. It is actually atrocious. Uh, he's got thigh swivels at the gold and red separation. And then he's got knees that bend pretty far. Let's take a break before we talk about the next part and go over this new one. So again, the discs will move out of the way if need be. The legs move pretty good when it comes to going out. And then forward, thank goodness, you get 90 degrees. <laughs> That's what you need, man. You at least need 90 degrees. And if you kind of finesse it and get it off to the side a little bit, you can get it a little bit higher. But 90 degrees, man, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid right there. And again, thigh swivel, pretty much the same spot. And then his knee is really good. The knee on the new one is much better. That, that bends in a lot more. So it seems like from the waist down, we have uh, essentially no contest. But from the waist up, it's kind of surprising, especially with the ab. I feel like the ab kind of lets this one down. I think that's this one's worst piece of articulation is the ab crunch. But then the ankles. This is old Hasbro Marvel Legends. So his ankles are on hinges. Not, ball, not like rocker hinges, but straight up like that is a hinge, and then it plugs in and it rotates and it hinges up and down. It's one of those ankles. So there's no pivot whatsoever. And even then, the hinge is very minimal. So you get a rotation out of it. So from the waist down, this Iron Man's articulation is trash. I'm sorry, it's just not good. Uh, it's it's just not. <laughs> but bringing in the, the new one, it's a pretty standard Marvel Legends nowadays. So he's got really nice forward, really nice back, and of course, he's got crazy tilt. You know, he's, he's going crazy with the tilt. So one thing I want to do... Let's try to get them in a ground pound pose. Let's try. So this one, he's got a really nice ab crunch. So that's really going to assist him right there. We get the head rotated. From the waist up, it looks like this is going to be an awesome pose, right? It looks like it's going to be awesome. But then you realize, oh, his legs already moved as much as it can, as much as it can go. So he cannot even attempt a ground pound because of the hips. The hips are that bad. He can't even get there. So that's that's his best ground pound. Not even joking. Uh, I suppose we can try a little bit. Like try to get him on one knee maybe. Like his hips are just awful. He looks better with him just still standing up. <laughs> yeah, he just he can't do it. The new one, let's figure this one out. So pretty similar. But then again, he's got really poor motion in the torso there. I really feel like they just, you know, they could have just cut it better. I feel like at this point, a poor abdomen joint is just incompetence. Like, at this point, I've seen so many abdomen joints that rock like crazy. Seeing one that can only move like this forward. Like, look at that. 
It's seriously just like one little notch forward. That's just pure incompetence. Absolutely. I feel like they just prioritized it moving back so he can have a good flight pose. But come on, man. He needs to move forward. As we're going to see here, you know, again, from the waist up, that's looking like a really good ground pound pose. But thankfully, because we can get the legs up high enough, we can start getting him in a ground pound in the nice superhero landing. But see, we're going to run into an issue of the torso just doesn't want to move down enough to really meet the meet the ground so you can finesse it you can get him very close but he's not going to be touching the ground too well like he's touching the ground now but he's looking down a lot and i feel like if we wanted him in the best ground pound he can have he needs an ab crunch he needed more ab crunch so unfortunately the new one is very good. This is close to being one of the best Marvel Legends Iron Man figures. But I just think it's not there quite yet. Uh, if I think if it just was painted nicer and had more ab articulation, this would perhaps be the best one. But as it stands now, it is, uh, it's fallen a little short. <laughs> Which is funny because it's taller than the old one. <laughs> but it's the new one is still very nice. If you want one single... Marvel Legends comic book style Iron Man in your collection and you like the extremist armor because it is more like reminiscent of the movies because the first movie design was very much based on the extremist armor it very much was it wasn't based on the original classic that wasn't until Endgame but seeing you know seeing how these look and everything if you want one comic book based Marvel Legends Iron Man that's more movie-esque go with this new one for sure the old one's still very cool. It's still a, a top-tier classic Hasbro Marvel Legends Iron Man for me, just based off of looks alone. But looks alone can't save it in a game where the game is all about articulation. And with six-inch action figures, with Marvel Legends, they are meant to be posed. That That is the point. That is the purpose. And those hips, even back then, even 10-plus years ago, what were they thinking? So, so bad. Well, anyways, guys, there's my old versus new of the old Return to Marvel Legends Extremist Iron Man and the new Marvel Legends Extremist Iron Man. Forgive me if I have not pronounced extremist the right way. I've heard it different ways. To be fair, it's a, it's a fictional thing, and it's spelled like extreme. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. If I got it right, great, great. But if I got it wrong, whatever. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.